Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and I'm going to talk about Gwen, which is the Shudder and RLJE co-release film. This is released on demand in theaters and digital HD August 16th, 2019. And if it looks like I'm reading that off something, I am, and it's huge because I can't see anything, so. Anyways. The film centers around, of course, Gwen, her younger sister, and their mother as they really, really try their hardest living on a farm back in ye old times. Not only is it just hard in general being a girl, being a teenage girl, but also being a teenage girl back in ye old times trying to make your family farm work, your father is off in the war, your mother is suddenly very, very unwell, and you're just trying to hold it together. Unfortunately, Gwen's mom starts to suffer from what I'm assuming is epilepsy or some old-timey disease, which they don't really have a lot of money, so they don't really have money to afford a tonic that the doctor keeps pushing, saying, you know, if your mom takes this every day, every so often, she's going to get better. But you don't seem to have the money. Maybe you guys should sell your farm. They also get hassled while at church by one of the people that's a big up in the quarry, really, really pressuring Gwen's mother to sell their family home, which is the farm. Strange things start happening, like the unfortunate slaughter of every beautiful sheep and goat on their property, which they have to burn, which kind of sparks something in Gwen's memory of walking past a home that has been condemned because the occupants had cholera, according to the doctor. She noticed that there were sheep skulls in their fire, and her mom had instructed her to also burn the bodies of all their livestock. In the off chance, they could have been poisoned as well, I'm assuming. So things start to add up in Gwen's mind. She starts to become very untrusting of those around her for good reason, because everyone's just pushing them to do what's best for the quarry, not so much what's best for their family. So we get to follow along this journey of her trying to keep things together, trying to keep her mom together, who is very rapidly um, going through something that's very scary and not just in a medical perspective, but a mental perspective as well. Gonna leave it off there as this is spoiler free. Please check out the trailer for this film. If you have not already, I suggest you watch that before the film. I typically don't watch trailers before the movies because I like to go in like clean slate as possible. Don't want anything that could possibly be a spoiler or lead me to believe anything, but trailers are good, good things. What did I like about this movie? It's not a typical horror movie. It is more of a thriller, but it does have jump scares, particularly one that I actually screamed very loudly and my dog started borking very loudly because I woke him up. Like kind of saw it coming, kind of knew it was a dream sequence, but it still like actually scared the shit out of me and that's really hard to do. Good job. Especially since I knew it was kind of coming, like still got me, still like, <sighs> okay. I really enjoyed just the setting of it is gorgeous. The colors in it are so beautiful and muted and have that like antiqued feel to them. I thought that um, it was very suspenseful and just the score really kept me on edge. There were a lot of dark scenes, which if you're new to this, I am visually impaired, so I'm not super great with dark scenes, but they were lit so well and you know combined with the score that I couldn't tell if there was something if there wasn't something but that score just kept my heart rate up the whole time so I was just even if there wasn't anything my heart was still like you're gonna jump again there's something there very good very atmospheric very gorgeous I felt like the acting was great I'm usually the most critical of child actors or adolescent actors in this case, but the actress who played Gwen, outstanding job, very believable. I, you know, got emotional at some points just 
trying to put myself in her shoes, remembering what it was like at her age, and then these horrible things that she's going through, I couldn't imagine, and I just really did feel for her. Like, that's gotta suck. I felt so bad. My dislikes. It is a slow burn. Some of the stuff I felt like they could get to a little faster, but honestly, just all the suspense, all the buildup during those times where, you know, it's getting to the, the good part, really, you know, were good. They were worth it. I didn't feel like I was cheapened, you know, for having waited so long. The ending, I, I was a little, eh. I wish it would have given us a little bit more information, not just like, that's it. I wanted, I wanted to know maybe like a few months in the future or even the next day, what's going to happen. Perhaps there'll be another movie. You never know. Um, but yeah, th this was a great film and I was really impressed and it's not a typical movie I would go for. I don't usually go for, you know, this kind of period piece or this kind of thriller or something that really, really builds up. I don't have the greatest taste and I like, you know, just dumb humor and a lot of gore. And I mean, it had some gore, but unfortunately a lot of the gore was animal related, which is very hard to watch. So that was effective. There is some, some human gore, just unfortunately most of it was animal. But I would rate this probably 3.5 out of 5. I don't know if I could get the groom to watch it. I could always try. He's not the biggest gore hound as I am, so he might actually enjoy it a little bit more than me. He is super, super into thrillers, so always a good suggestion. See if I could twist his arm. Uh, as I said, it is available August 16th. Uh, theaters on demand, digital HD still looking at my notes not the greatest memory sorry but have you seen the trailer what were your thoughts it kind of gave me a little bit of the witch vibes which i really liked that movie i know that's also a slow burn i know that's also a sore subject for a lot of people in the horror community but i dug it so if you haven't already please do subscribe to the channel i'd love to have you don't forget to like the video if you did like the video, or you could like the video if you enjoy goats, because they're very cute. Don't forget to hit the notification bell for all um, reminders of future uploads and live streams. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. You can find my solo as well as reviews with the groom in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. And please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and their awesome content. And I will see you guys later. Bye!